cast of characters. Tiger Moth. Kung Pao. Amber Pao. Mrs. Mandible. Weevil. Quicker than a really fast snail. Smarter than a second grader. Except maybe in math. I am Kung Pao, Insect Ninja. Apprentice. Okay, this opening scene is usually Tiger Moth's little intro. Yes, I know, I'm not quite as slick as Tiger. What can I say? I'm in training. But ever since this morning, I'm on my own. Here's what happened. We were making a beeline for school on our bikes. Of course, it was the one day that my little sister had to tag along. Try to keep up, snail boy. Yeah, snail boy. Hey, Amber, unless you want your life cycle cut painfully short, zip it. Then suddenly... Hey, what's that? I bet my left wing it's Weevil, the baddest of all bugs. We've got a message from Weevil. How'd you know? It's a gift. That and the big W on the copter. Right. So what's the message? Weevil would like to give it to you. In person. Run! What about the other one? Weevil's not interested in that little chicken. Of course, that wasn't the time to point out that I'm a pill bug, not a chicken. Tiger! So, that was this morning. I never would have taken off like that if Amber hadn't been with us. I was protecting her, right? But that chicken comment was sticking in my gizzard. Tiger had been nabbed just before school started. So there I was in Mrs. Mandible's room. It's hard to concentrate on fractions when an evil villain just snatched your best friend. Kung Pao, please come up and show us how to add fractions. This day just keeps getting better. Tiger's at the mercy of that psycho weevil. I'm standing here in class doing nothing about it. But what can I do? I'm just an apprentice. And a little scared. Maybe those two goons were right. Am I just chicken? No! I'm a pill bug! And the apprentice of Tiger Moth! Insect Ninja! What are you talking about, Kung Pao? Mrs. Mandible, I need the hall pass. Can't it wait? Not this time. Chicken or not, it's time I took matters into my own hands. Tiger taught me well. Remember, Kung, when the wind blows, one bamboo bends easier than two. Huh? When two birds fly, only one stone can be thrown. What? Two are better than one. That's what I'm trying to say here. Yep, Tiger had taught me well. Two are better than one. So if I was going to rescue him from Weevil, I needed some help. I needed an apprentice of my own. And the choices are... No good. Grown-ups have this weird thing about not letting kids run into danger. Yeah, right. I might as well fly straight into a bug zapper. The right amount of muscle. But I doubt he can play nicely with others. That left only one unlikely candidate. Well, hello there, Kung Pao. What brings you to the first grade? Can I borrow my little sister? Well, sure. Just promise you'll bring her back in one piece. Ha <laughs> ha. No promises there. Amber was pretty good about listening to me when she wasn't calling me Snail Boy. We're going after Tiger. About time. She was also a professional pain in the stinger. This is going to be dangerous. Danger is my middle name. Actually, your middle name is Courtney. So, how are we going to find Tiger? 
with this. What is that thing? I had asked Tiger the same question not long ago. A smart ninja blends technology with skill. What do you mean? From now on, we'll keep these on us at all times. What are they? Homing devices. They'll pinpoint our exact location to each other. Because of that whole two bamboos when the wind blows thing, right? Any more questions, little sis? Yeah. Is there anything Tiger didn't teach you? We're about to find out. One hour later, the Hornet Bay docks. Tiger's homing signal had led us right down to the waterfront. He's in that warehouse. Well, let's get him. Slow down, Grasshopper. I'm a pill bug. Whatever. Listen closely, Apprentice. A ninja is silent and invisible. We must see without being seen. Now follow me and keep quiet. Yes, Master. I had to admit, I like the sound of that. Look, there he is, Tiger. Shh. Remember, a ninja is silent and invisible. Listen. And so, Tiger, soon your claws will be cut. Your tiger stripes will not shine quite so brightly, and you will foil my plans no longer. <laughs> Boss, wouldn't it be easier to just cut the rope and let the spiders eat him now? Yeah. How come we have to lower him slowly while you stand here and talk about his certain doom? Because you fools. This way is much more evil. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that. We were just in time. Here's the plan, small fly. You go down and create a distraction. The goons will leave to check it out. While you run like crazy, I'll sneak down and get Tiger. Yes, master. But what if they catch me, Kung? Run fast, and they won't. My hero. What's that noise? Go check it out. I don't want to miss the end of Tiger Moth. Outside, it's a harmless little girl. What's wrong, honey? I'm lost. Ah,、uh, we'll help you. I have a better idea. Hiya! Harmless little girl, huh? Try again, boys. Meanwhile, say goodbye, Tiger Moth. Hiya! Smooth. Thanks. You were saying, Weevil. All right, kitties. You want to play? Let's play. What's the next move, Tiger? This is your rescue. It's your call. Spider slingshot. Perfect. Hiya! Ah! I hate spiders. Down, I say. I am your master. You haven't heard the last of me, Tiger Moth. I never get tired of hearing that. And so I rescued Tiger all by myself. Hello! Don't forget me. Okay, fine. I had a little help from my new apprentice. Not bad, Kong. Not bad at all. What do you mean not bad? I totally saved your exoskeleton. Sure did. And you know my favorite part of your plan? Having Amber create a distraction? Nope. It's how you ran away when they got me in the helicopter. What? It was a stroke of genius to put our homing devices into action. 
Now we're closer to finding the location of Weevil's headquarters. Yep. All part of the plan. I would never have run away otherwise. Truly brilliant, Apprentice. I mean, come on. What do you think I am? Chicken? Oh, brother.